Hi, I'm Colette Culbertson, founder of the Temecula Theater Project, and this is Act One of Christopher Marlowe's The Tragical History of Dr. Faustus. It is a pleasure to give you this story, and we hope you can join us for an after-show discussion on Tuesday, November 3rd at 7 p.m. over Instagram. Follow the artists involved for more info. Thank you for listening, and be silent then, for danger is in words. Not marching now in fields of Thrasimene, where Mars did mate the Carthaginians, nor sporting in the dalliance of love. In courts of kings where state is overturned, nor in the pomp of proud, audacious deeds, intends our muse to vaunt her heavenly verse. Only this, gentlemen, we must perform, the form of Faustus' fortunes, good or bad. To patient judgments we appeal our plaud. And speak for Faustus in his infancy. Now is he born his parents' base of stock, in Germany, within a town called Rhodes. Of riper years, to Wernberg he went, where as his kingsmen chiefly brought him up, so soon he profits in divinity. The fruitful plot of scholarism graced, that shortly he was graced with doctor's name, excelling all whose sweet delight disputes. In heavenly matters of theology, Till, swollen with the cunning of a self-conceit, his waxen wings did mount above his reach. And melting, heavens conspired his overthrow for falling to a devilish exercise, and glutted now with learning's golden gifts. He surfeits upon cursed necromancy. Nothing so sweet as magic is to him, which he prefers before his chiefest bliss, and this the man that in his study sits. Settle thy studies, Faustus, and begin to sound the depth of that thou wilt profess. Having commenced, be a divine in show, yet level at the end of every art, and live and die in Aristotle's works. Sweet analytics, tis thou hast ravished me. Bine disarire est finis logices. Is to dispute well logic's chiefest end? Affords this art no greater miracle? Be a physician, Faustus, heap up gold, and be eternized for some wondrous cure. Summum bonum medicinae sanitas. The end of physic is our body's health. Why, Faustus, hast thou not attained that end? Are not thy bills hung up as monuments whereby whole cities have escaped the plague and thousand desperate maladies been eased? Yet, Art thou still but Faustus, and a man? Couldst thou make men to live eternally, or, being dead, raise them to life again? Then this profession were to be esteemed. Physic, farewell. Where is Justinian? <laughs> si una udum que res legator duobus. Alter rem, alter valorem, re, ah, pretty case of paltry legacies. Exhortiter filium, non potis pater nisi. <laughs> when all is done, divinity is best. Jerome's Bible, Faustus, view it well. Stipendium peccati mors est. <laughs> Stipendium. <laughs> the reward of sin is death. That's hard. <laughs> si peccasse negamus, falamur, et nulla est in nobis veritas. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and there's no truth in us. Why then, belike we must sin, and so consequently die. Aye, we must die an everlasting death. What doctrine call you this? Que sera, sera. What will be shall be? Divinity, adieu! These metaphysics of magicians and necromantic books are heavenly. Lines, circles, scenes, letters, and characters. Ay, these are those that Faustus most desires. Oh, what a world of profit and delight, of power, of honor, of omnipotence, is promised to the studious artisan. All things that move between the quiet poles shall be at my command. Emperors and kings are but obeyed in their several provinces, nor can they raise the wind or rend the clouds. But his dominion that exceeds in this stretcheth as far as doth the mind of man. A sound magician is a mighty god. Here, Faustus, tire thy brains to gain a deity. <laughs> <coughs> Wagner, commend me to my dearest friends, the German Valdez and Cornelius. Request them earnestly to visit me. I will, sir. Their conference will be a greater help to me than all my labors, plot I never so fast. <laughs> 
O oh, Faustus, lay that damned book aside and gaze not on it, lest it tempt thy soul and heap God's heavy wrath upon thy head. Read the scriptures. That is blasphemy. Go forward, Faustus, in that famous art wherein all nature's treasure is contained. Be thou on earth as Jove is in the sky, lord and commander of these elements. Oh, I am glutted with conceit of this. Shall I make spirits fetch me what I please? Resolve me of all ambiguities? Perform what desperate enterprise I will? I'll have them search all corners of the newfound world for pleasant fruits and princely delicates. I'll have them read me strange philosophy and tell the secrets of all foreign kings. I'll have them wall all Germany with brass and make swift Rhine circle, fair Württemberg. I'll levy soldiers with the coin they bring and chase the Prince of Parma from our land and reign sole king of all the provinces. Yea, <laughs> stranger engines for the brunt of war than was the fiery keel at Antwerp's bridge I'll make my servile spirits to invent. <laughs> Come, German Valdez and Cornelius, and make me blessed with your sage conference. Valdez, sweet Valdez, and Cornelius, know that your words have won me at the last to practice magic and concealed arts. Yet not your words only, but mine own fantasy that will receive no object, for my head but ruminates on necromantic skill. Philosophy is odious and obscure. Your. Both law and physic are for petty wits. Divinity is the basest of the three. Unpleasant, harsh, contemptible, and vile. Tis magic, magic that hath ravished me. Then, gentle friends, aid me in this attempt, and I, that have with concise syllogisms graveled the pastors of the German church and made the flowering pride of Württemberg swarm to my problems, as the infernal spirits on sweet Musaeus when he came to hell, will be as cunning as Agrippa was, whose shadow made all Europe honor him. <laughs> Faustus, these books, thy wit, and our experience shall make all nations to canonize us. <laughs> as Indian Moors obey their Spanish lords, so shall the spirits of every element be always serviceable to us three. Mm. Like lions shall they guard us when we please. <laughs> like Almain rudders with their horsemen staves, oh. or Lapland giants trotting by our side. <laughs> Sometimes like women or unwedded oh. maids, shadowing more beauty in their airy brows than have the white breasts of the queen of love. Oh. From Venice shall they drag huge Argoses and from America, the golden fleece that yearly stuffs old Philip's treasury. Mm. If learned Faustus will be resolute. Valdez, as resolute am I in this as thou to live. Therefore, objecting the not. The miracles that magic will perform will make thee vow to study nothing else. Hmm. He that is grounded in astrology and rich with tongues, while seen in minerals, hath all the principles magic doth require. Hmm. The doubt not, Faustus, but to be renowned and more frequented for this mystery than heretofore the Delphian Oracle. <laughs> the spirits tell me they can dry the sea and fetch the treasure of all foreign wrecks. Aye, all the wealth that our forefathers hid within the massy entrails of the earth. And tell me, Faustus, what shall we three want? Nothing, Cornelius. Oh, this cheers my soul. Hmm. Come, show me some demonstrations, magical, that I may conjure in some lusty grove <laughs> and have these joys in full possession. <laughs> then haste thee to some solitary grove oh. and bear wise Bacon's and Albertus's works, the Hebrew Psalter and New Testament, and whatsoever else is requisite, we will inform the heir our conference <laughs> of. Does. First let him know the words of art, and then all other ceremonies learned. Faustus may try his cunning by himself. First I'll instruct thee in the rudiments, and then wilt thou be perfecter than then I. Then come and dine with me, and after me mm. will canvas every quiddity <laughs> thereof. For ere I sleep, I'll try what I can do. This night I'll conjure, though I die therefore. I wonder what's become of Faustus, that was wont to make our schools ring with sick. That Bravo. shall we know, for see, here comes his boy. <clears throat> How now, Sarah? Where is thy master? God in heaven knows. Why dost not thou know? Yes, I know, but that follows not. Go to, Sarah! Leave your jest 
interesting. And tell us where that he follows is. follows not necessary by force of argument that you, being licentiate, should hmm. stand upon. Therefore, acknowledge your error and be attentive. Why didst thou not say thou knewest? Have you when any witnessed aunt? Yes, sirrah, I heard you. Ask my fellow if I be a thief. Well, you will not tell us? Yes, sir, I will tell you. Yet if you were not dunces, hmm. you would never ask me such a question. For is he not corpus natural? Is he not that mobile? Then wherefore should you ask me such a question? <laughs> but that I am by nature phlegmatic, slow to wrath, and prone to lechery. <laughs> mm-hmm. To love, I would say, if were not for you to come within forty foot of the place of execution. Although I do not doubt to see you both hang the next session. Oh. Thus... Having triumphed over you, I will set my countenance <laughs> like a precision and begin to speak thus. <clears throat> Truly, my dear brethren, my master is within at dinner with Valdez and Cornelius. <gasps> As this wine, if it could speak, would inform your worships. And so the Lord bless you, preserve you, and keep you, my dear brethren, my dear brethren. Nathan, I fear he has fallen into that damned art for which those two are infamous through the world. For he is stranger and not allied to me, yet should I grieve for him. But come, let us go and inform the rector and see if he, by his great counsel, can reclaim him. Oh, but I fear me nothing can reclaim him. Yet let us try and see what we can do. Now that the gloomy shadow of the earth, longing to view Orion's drizzling look, leaps from the Antarctic world unto the sky and dims the welkin with her pitchy breath, Faustus, begin thine incantations and try if devils will obey thy hest, seeing thou hast prayed and sacrificed to them. Within this circle is Jehovah's name, forward and backward anagrammatized, the abbreviated names of holy saints, figures of every adjunct to the heavens, and characters of signs and erring stars by which the spirits are enforced to rise. And fear not, Faustus, but be resolute and try the uttermost magic can perform. Saint Mihi Dei Acherantus Propetee, Valiat Numen Triplex Jehovo, Ignei Eri Aquatani Spiritus Salvete, Orientis Princeps Beelzebub, Inferni Ardentist Monarcha, Et Demogorgon Propetiamus Vos, Ut Apariat Et Surgat Mephistopheles, Quad Tumoraris, Per Jehovam, Gehenum, Et Consecratum Aquam Quam Nunc Spargo, Signumque Crucis Quad Nunc Facio, Et Pervota Nostra, Ipsi Nunc Surgat Nobis Decatis, Mephistopheles! I charge thee to return and change thy shape. Thou art too ugly to attend on me. Go and return an old Franciscan friar. That holy shape becomes a devil best. (laughs) I see there's virtue in my heavenly words. Who would not be proficient in this art? How pliant is this Mephistopheles? full of obedience and humility. Such is the force of magic and my spells. No, Faustus, thou art conjurer laureate that canst command great Mephistopheles, Queen Regis Mephistopheles Fratrice Imagine. (laughs) Now, Faustus, what wouldst thou have me do? I charge thee, wait upon me whilst I live, to do whatever Faustus shall command, be it make the moon drop from her sphere, or the ocean to overwhelm the world. (laughs) I am a servant of great Lucifer, and may not follow thee without his leave, nor more than he commands must we perform. Did not he charge thee to appear to me? No, I came hither of my own accord. Did not my conjuring speeches raise thee? Speak! That was the cause, but yet per accident. For when we hear one rack the name of God, abjure the scriptures and his Savior Christ, we fly and hope to get his glorious soul. Nor will we come unless he use such means, whereby he is in danger to be damned. <laughs> Therefore, the shortest cut for conjuring is stoutly to abjure the Trinity and pray devoutly to the Prince of Hell. So Faustus hath already done and holds this principle. There is no chief but only Beelzebub to whom Faustus doth dedicate himself. This word damned 
damnation terrifies not him, for he confounds hell in Elysium. His ghost be with the old philosophers. <laughs> but leaving these vain trifles of men's souls, tell me, what is that Lucifer, thy lord? Archregion and commander of all spirits. Was not that Lucifer an angel once? Yes, Faustus, and most dearly loved of God. How comes it then that he is prince of devils? Oh, by aspiring pride and insolence, <laughs> for which God threw him from the face of heaven. And what are you that live with Lucifer? Unhappy spirits that fell with Lucifer, conspired against our God with Lucifer, and forever damned with Lucifer. Where are you damned? In hell. How comes it then? that thou art out of hell. Why, this is hell, nor am I out of it. Huh. Thinkest thou that I, who saw the face of God and tasted the eternal joys of heaven, am not tormented with 10,000 hells and deprived of everlasting bliss? Oh, Faustus, leave these frivolous demands which strike a terror <laughs> fainting in my soul. What? Tis great Mephistopheles, so passionate for being deprived of the joys of heaven. Learn thou of Faustus' manly fortitude, and scorn those joys thou never shalt possess. Go bear these tidings to great Lucifer, seeing Faustus hath incurred eternal death by desperate thoughts against Jove's deity. Say, he surrenders up to him his soul, so he will spare him four and twenty years, letting him live in all voluptuousness, having thee ever to attend on me to give me whatsoever I shall ask, to tell me whatsoever I demand, to slay mine enemies and aid my friends, and always be obedient to my will. Go and return to mighty Lucifer, and meet me in my study at midnight, and then resolve me of thy master's mind. I will, Faustus. Had I as many souls as there be stars, I'd give them all for Mephistopheles. By her I'll be great emperor of the world and make a bridge through the moving air to pass the ocean with a band of men. I'll join the hills that bind the Afric shore and make that country continent to Spain and both contributory to my crown. The emperor shall not live but by my leave nor any potentate of Germany. Now that I have obtained what I desired, I'll live in speculation of this art, till Mephistopheles return again. Sirrah, boy, come hither. How, boy? Sounds, boy. I hope you have seen many boys with such picket of aunts as I have. Boy, quote! Tell me, Sirrah, <laughs> hast thou any comings in? Aye, and goings out, do you may see else. Alas, poor slave. See how poverty jesseth in his nakedness. The villain is bare and out of service, and so hungry that I know he would give his soul to the devil for a shoulder of mutton, though it were blood raw. How, my soul to the devil for a shoulder of mutton, though it were blood raw? <laughs> Not so good friend. By our lady, I need have it well roasted, and good sauce to it, if I pay so dear. Well, what thou serve me, and I'll make thee go like quick me he disipolis. How, oh, in verse? No, sirrah, in beaten silk and staves acre. How, how, knaves acre? Aye, I thought that was all the land his father left him. Do you hear? I'll be sorry to rob you of your living. Sirrah, I say staves acre. Oh, ho, oh, ho, staves acre. Why, then be like if I were your man, I should be full of vermin. So thou shalt whether thou beest with me or no. But, sirrah, leave your jesting and bind yourself mm. presently unto me for seven years. Or I'll turn all the lice about thee oh. into familiars, and they shall tear thee in pieces. Do you hear, sir? You may save that labor. They are too familiar with me already. Swounds are as bold with my flesh as if they had paid for their meat and drink. Well, do you hear, sirrah? Hold, take oh, these gilders. Gridirons. What be they? Why, French crowns. Mass, but for the name of French crowns, a man were as good have as many English counters. And what should I do with these? Why, now, sirrah, thou art an hour's warning. Whensoever or wheresoever the devil shall fetch thee. Oh, uh, no, no. Here, take a great iron again. Truly, I'll none Truly, of them. Truly, but you Bear shall. Bear witness, I gave Bear them witness, him. Bear witness, I give them you Well, again. I will cause two <laughs> devils presently to fetch thee away. Oh. Balliol and Belcher. Oh, let your Balliol and Belcher come here, and I'll knock them. They were never so knocked since they were devils. Say, so you should kill one of them. What would folks say? Do ye say yonder tall fellow in the round salop? He has killed the devil. So I shall be called kill devil all the parish over. Valley <laughs> all and Belcher. Spirits away. What? Are they gone? 
a vengeance on them. They have vile, long nails. There is a he-devil and a she-devil. I'll tell you how you shall know them. Our he-devils has horns, and our she-devils have cliffs and cloven feet. Well, Sarah, follow me. But do you hear? If I should serve you, would you teach me to raise up Banios and Belchios? I will teach thee to turn thyself into anything. Ah. To a dog, or a cat, or a mouse, or a rat, or anything. How a cushion fellow to a dog, or a cat, or a mouse, or a rat. No, no, sir, if you turn me into anything, let it be in the likeness of a little pretty frisking flea, then I may be here, and there, and everywhere. Oh, I'll tickle the pretty wench's palackets. I'll be amongst them, if faith. Well, Sarah, <laughs> come. But do you hear, Wagner? How? Balliol and Belcher! Oh, Lord, I pray, sir, let Banio and Belcher go sleep. Villain, call me Master Wagner, and let thy left eye be diamentarily fixed upon my right heel with quasi vistigus nostris insistere. God forgive me, he speaks Dutch question. Well, I'll follow him. I'll serve him. That's flat. Thank you.